Hello everybody once again and welcome um, to the Holy Week devotionals and today we are on Good Friday. We are continuing with the series of the seven sayings of Jesus Christ on the cross and today we are looking at the sixth saying of Jesus. It is found in the Gospel of John chapter 19 and we will read verse 30. It reads as follows. Therefore, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. So we have now come to the conclusion, the conclusion not just of the seven sayings, of Jesus on the cross, but in a way, the conclusion of Jesus' ministry on earth, the conclusion of Jesus' life um, on earth before he died. And if you look at it, indeed, it is the most profound conclusion. Jesus is saying after, after drinking the sour wine, if you remember yesterday, we looked at the fact that Jesus was saying, I am thirsty, and uh, they made him um, to drink the sour wine. And now Jesus is saying, it is finished. Now we are not told what is, what, what is finished. Jesus merely declares that it is finished. But when we look in other places, um, in, the, in the Gospels, we can conclude that uh, included in, the, in this thing that Jesus says it is finished is the fulfillment, uh, the work of Jesus of fulfilling the law and the prophets. If you read, for instance, in Matthew uh, chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus says, I have not come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come to fulfill them. And so we can say that that work of fulfilling the Old Testament is, 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 is finished. Uh, and also if you look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, it talks about the work of Jesus uh, destroying the works of the devil. Uh, so we can say that the, the work of destroying the works of, of the devil is finished. The work for which Jesus came uh, to this earth is now finished. It is completed, Jesus declares on the cross. By his death on the cross, Jesus finishes the work which his father sent him for. And that, that is a great comfort for us. It is a great comfort to know that Jesus did not die tragically. It is a great comfort to know that Jesus' death was not something that was sudden in a way. Jesus' death was the fulfillment of what the scriptures had said years before. It was a fulfillment of what he said himself. And so he says the work is finished. Jesus has tasted the, the wrath of God. Jesus has experienced the anguish of being crucified. He has experienced the burden of carrying our sin. Jesus has experienced what it means to be forsaken uh, by his Father. He has experienced it all on our behalf. And now he can say it is finished. He has done what he came here to do and he has completed it and it is sufficient, and it is perfect. We can praise God for that. We can be comforted. We can have confidence in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the, on the cross because by dying on the cross, Jesus has achieved a great salvation for us. We can freely live now knowing fully well that the plan of God was accomplished, the plan um, to reconnect us with God, the plan to bring us back to the fold 
it has been finished, it has been completed, it is sufficient. Jesus has paid the price of redemption for us. Now, our sins like us can be ushered in into sinners like us can be ushered in into the presence of the holy and the living God because of Jesus' finished work on the cross. What a wonderful truth to know. What a wonderful truth to direct our own lives so that we can have confidence in what Jesus has done. We can be assured that Jesus has finished the work for which the Father sent him. Amen.